Look at that, even the white guy turned up late. Don't worry, I ain't gonna pick on nobody tonight. Look at this shit. <laughs> Can you believe that the white guy turned up late, bruh? Mingling it with the black people. White people reject you. <laughs> Is that what happened? Are you outcasts? They fling you out. Fling you out of the community, innit? <laughs> so now you come looking refuge with us, innit? And we normally take them in, don't we? Like we do with the Mobile Awards. We take you in. The night's called Comedy Untapped. It's something that I decided to do because normally when I do shows, they're always outside of London, never in my local vicinity. So I decided that I'd put on my own little show. Also promoting Dog City as well. So two birds with one stone. Well, the name of the film is uh, Dog City. Uh, my character role is actually a down and out ex rock star um, that's lost everything and uh, turned to heroin um, and constantly leads that drug fix to keep him functioning. Piss off, who do you think you are? Which is a surprisingly easy role to play, which is quite alarming. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. Uh, an opportunity to get involved in a film where um, I didn't think that I was going to have to just deal with stereotypes. I wanted to kind of like move away from the stereotypes, even though stereotypes exist. And I wanted to tell um, an honest story. Not because you put money in the business, you say you own this business. You don't own it. I know, Dad, I know, I don't own it. It's, it's we, we're family, Dad. So you better come in time, man. We have work to do. Look, man, don't get me mad. Go up, say we're going to change and come and come do some work, you hear me? Yes, Dad, yes. Dad. Hurry up, man. Yes, Dad. It's a feel good film, but also um, it's a comedy. It's a dry, dark humoured comedy. I need a fix. Do you think just because I'm black, I can get you drugs? Yeah. When it comes to um, black drama, it's almost, it's always like, oh God, they've been taking drugs, oh God, they're in the music industry, oh God. And I just thought, no, I'd like to move away, I'd like to go in a different direction. So once I linked up with the other, the other guys, the young kids, I thought, here's something that I've just got to jump in and do. Because the thing is, I've got girls, that's my problem. I've got bloody girls, man. It's the six-year-old, my six-year-old daughter, she is fiery. She's like, she's like her mother, really, you yeah. know. She, yeah, she plays a bit of football, got red carded, you know, but... Oh, well, you ain't got no sons. By the director knowing each, each and every person who's starring the role and putting them together and coming up with this chemistry. And I think that chemistry works very well in the movie. It's a natural chemistry. It's a story about inner city London and the way in which, um, I guess, different groups of people, you know, live their lives. Why are you healthy, me, man? I didn't expect some black dude to be showing me the way. I wouldn't have gave a shit. I'd have walked past you. I'd have thought, fuck it, let him kill himself. Black guy helps a white down and out druggie, which is really, really interesting. So. Interesting role to play. Both the white guys brought an angle to it that people don't, normally don't see, which is black people helping white people. It's a big change. I've never chatted up a black girl before, so... So what are you trying to say? Hello. Hello. Why are you looking good, at me? Good, good, good. Yeah. I love Bob Marley. Yeah, obviously, but, yes. yeah. The other actors um, were vitally important for making me feel comfortable playing the role. I found them um, quite easy to work with, to be honest with you. Damien, who plays Miles, and uh, Noble, that plays Mo. When I saw those two playing their, their part at the door where they were arguing, uh, I was standing in the background watching that, and I thought, right, OK, that's the level I have to act to, because before that, I didn't do anything. Oh, fuck off, Mo. Your customer here's dead, yeah? To this back, Mo! Your customer's dead here, yeah? But I think I learned a lot from them as well, like how to be poised, how to just sit back and um, allow the story to, to tell itself as opposed to just forcing it. So working with them was good. I'll be seeing you. And all we get told is, this is what you are. This is what you are, this is the plot, get on with it. And that's what happened. And uh, I think when you're giving that kind of free reign to an artist, whether it be an actor or a musician or anybody, it's quite surprising what they came out with. The best way to get the, the comedy is for it to evolve around me, as opposed 
to me, sort of like being the trickster um, all the time and, and show a, a, a little bit more vulnerability. But this is nice, Mum, I must admit. Whereas Angela likes tenants. <laughs> 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 but she was a married woman. Look at me when I'm talking to you. So your foot are tied. You leave this card on the counter. I'm well, having respect for their acting, really. That gave me the, the sort of strength and the uh, the bar of where to hit for as as being playing my role. So. They were great guys to work to, and I'd love to work with them again. And I think they've put a lot into this film, you know, and, and fantastic guys and uh, fantastic characters as well in the, in the movie. You proud of yourself? Four o'clock up. Hmm? All the fucking exercise, the music, all this shit. Besides, look. I think this film is, is, is for um, GB, in other words, Great Britain, and the multicultural society that it's supposed to represent. The name of the film is Dog City, and it's coming on a screen near you. I'm out of there, you two. Get up to whatever it is you two get up to later. Bye. Sexual. <laughs> Fucking trouble, you guys. Well, that's the whole point of Dogs um, City, is to show you that there is this other street that um, the papers doesn't write about, that the media doesn't report on. And um, the film gives you an opportunity to look into this. It, 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 gives, it gives Middle England and a lot of, um, I guess, uh, Caucasian people a chance to go, oh, so that's what the West Indian community is like. Oh, so they do have families. Oh, so, you know, um, it's just trying to smash myths, man.